I find this message relevant while I'm sweating after my run today. I see on dating apps now, and I'm on them all the time, men saying that they only want to date women who are physically fit. And I just want to flag to any woman who's interested in a man saying that, that that is controlling behavior. He's essentially saying that your body should be a certain way for him to love you. And if you think that that is not a red flag, you probably never dated a man like that before. You have to accept people, including their behaviors and habits, for who they are. And if you're going to create stipulations on dating profiles that include the way a person's body should look and the way they treat their body, that is a controlling red flag. I'm looking for, I take care of my body. I'm looking for a woman who takes care of her body too. Like... If you can't fall in love with somebody and partner with somebody accepting their body in different forms at different times of life, then you probably shouldn't be with somebody. Oh, shut up. So the vast majority of you lovely ladies, <clears throat> sorry, I just threw up in my mouth a little bit, refuse to even look at a man who isn't six foot tall, doesn't have a six pack and doesn't earn six figures, let alone date him. And that's not controlling behavior, and that's totally not refusing to accept him for who he is. But as soon as a man says he only wants to date women who are physically fit, Well, sweetie, if you're so fond of double standards, we're gonna start applying them too. Straight guys. <laughs> love boxing because i think their fantasy is that someone tries to fight them and they like mike tyson one shot take them out that's their dream or they turn around and they're like yes yes you want to fight me uh, oh no <laughs> oh no <laughs> oh my want. god i wish i knew how to fight i bet you do but speaking as a straight white christian man how dare with over 20 years of martial arts training I don't walk the streets wishing I'd get jumped. That's stupid. But it did happen to me once. And I did one-shot the guy. Didn't knock him out, but I did knock him on his ass. And that was the end of it. I have to say, though, knowing that you can effectively defend yourself is a pretty good feeling. One that the two of you will never get to experience. So, because you can't, you try to make fun of those who can. It's sad, isn't it? Nope, not sad. Pathetic. An ice cream date in your 30s is freaking crazy, but I forgot people are okay with the bare minimum. And this girl said, y'all some losers. Also, the fact that she's using every time she's referring to a woman says a lot about her. Or it actually says something about the women she's talking about. So if you feel offended, you might be one of them. But this is for that girly. Personally, my first date, I got flown out. He booked a whole luxury picnic in a beautiful park. He booked a helicopter ride and he took me on a fancy dinner. Okay, first of all, those raptor claws look gnarly. Second, you're telling me that some dude paid a small fortune on a first date with a solid 4 out of 10. <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> okay. Want to know what I was doing when you were having your first date? Don't worry, I'll tell you. See, it was 8 o'clock in the morning, and I was eating a nutritious bowl of grenade shrapnel and jet fuel. Breakfast of champions. When suddenly, I got a call from the president. He wanted to tell me something really important. America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was in the, foot him uh, foot, foot, excuse me, the foothills of the Himalayas with Xi Jinping. Indeed. But then, my spidey senses started tingling. Apparently, the sand people had stolen a few dozen spaceships from the orcs. <laughs> and now, they were coming to invade the Earth. And I said, not on my watch, mister. So I pulled my underwear over my pants and flew to meet them in glorious combat. And then I killed them. I killed them all, they're dead, every single one of them. And not just the men, but the women. And the children too. They're like animals. And I slaughtered them like animals. I hate them!
off. And then I flew back to Earth and shot a scene with Adam-22's wife. I appreciate you banging my wife. <laughs> so, whose story is more believable? Mine or hers? Let me know in the comments section. Not gonna lie, two would be a bit of a dream and it's not even for the size, it's for the energy, like the island vibe, the color of the skin and the yumminess they bring. I don't like the big ones because they just don't really get in there, but you know. By the way, this is her and her husband. Apparently, they like to swap wives with other people. But what I find really confusing is if you're gonna smash other people, why get married? Marriage is defined by exclusivity and perpetuity. If both the quote-unquote husband and wife are smashing other people, realistically speaking, they're just F-buddies with legally commingled assets, which legally and financially is very bad for the quote-unquote husband. Cause real talk, if she ever falls in love with one of their playmates, make no mistake, she will take him to the cleaners, and he facilitated it. You're goddamn right. Which is one of the reasons why a man who is fine with his wife getting eggplanted by other men will never be respected by other men, including the ones smashing his wife. And that's the bottom line, cause don't go sit <laughs>